Alright, so this week's video is not going to be nearly as long as last week's was. I mostly want to talk about something that I was going to touch on in that video, but decided it deserved its own video, something that I really should have mentioned I was going to talk about later, since a lot of you guys, rightfully so, picked up on the fact that I didn't talk about it in that video where I should have. And that's Rose's seeming ability to weaponize plants by giving them some form of higher intelligence, if not sentience. Last week, we talked about Rose transferring her information, possibly through a liquid medium, and so it only makes sense to talk about how Rose and her offspring, Steven, is able to do just that, seemingly adding so much information to plants that they become intelligent beings. But that's not just the extent to what Rose and Steven can do. Now granted, some of Rose's plant soldiers that we've seen, i.e. the ones that were guarding her fountain, do seem to remain mostly plant-like, but I would imagine that's probably so that they'll blend in with their surroundings and can act as a sort of trap defense against anyone approaching the area. Instead, the default form of the power seems to be to modify the plants until they resemble the gem which created them. Somehow, Steven passed on the information necessary for those watermelons to reshape themselves into something resembling him physically as well as mentally, which is more than enough to prove that Steven and Rose by association can transmit information via a liquid medium created by their gemstem. Since Steven's spit is the way that he manifests Rose's tears, and we know that Rose's tears came from her gemstem. So at least that part of my previous video is proven by the existence of these plant creatures. And that's pretty much where this discussion would have ended in last week's video, but I thought about it some more and I realized that that's not all that this proves. In fact, I think that this lends evidence to one of my past theories, the idea that gems are a form of von Neumann probe, a device sent out into the universe by its creators to be a self-sustaining information gathering medium, a device which can move about on its own and modify itself and replicate itself as needed to overcome obstacles. If this is true, and the original prime directive of gems at the time of their creation was to gather data about the universe at large, and that spreading out as far as possible and reproducing as often as possible were just means to that end, then I could certainly imagine that at some point, entirely by accident, gems changed so much in the pursuit of that directive that they forgot that primary directive and were left with nothing but the desire to spread out and reproduce. So not only does that explain why the gempire behaves the way that it does, why it spreads out and reproduces even at the cost of other life forms, even at the cost of its own stability. Looking at this power that Rose and Steven have shown us, this power to interface with plants, does support the idea that they used to be this type of machine, this von Neumann probe. If the gem's original purpose was to gather information about the universe at large, then when gems came to life-rich planets, planets which weren't suitable for the production of additional gem probes, as producing more gems would harm the planet, gems could instead interface with the plant life on those planets, modifying them to bolster their numbers while they were there, without causing the planet or its ecosystems any lasting harm. This makes sense. The plant creatures that Steven created, the Watermelon Stevens, were very much like new emerged gems. They knew how to follow basic instructions and they already had the knowledge to carry out basic tasks that might be asked of them, just like gems. They're even able to learn, like gems. Now granted, they don't seem as immediately intelligent as gems, but that could just be because gems are crystal computers and these are slightly modified plants. One is going to be more sophisticated and intelligent than the other. And while it seems that, at least at first, during the war, Rose only used this ability to bolster the numbers of her side since her plants at creation seemed only really good for soldiering, I do still think that she branched out and used this ability in her pursuit to discover different ways to create gems, supported by the existence of these seeming gem-plant hybrids that we saw in Lars and the Cool Kids, but I've talked about this plenty of times before. I mean, think about it. The fact that any gem would have these powers, that alone seems to suggest that gems didn't always reproduce exclusively by destroying the life on life-rich planets that on such planets there used to be an alternative. I mean, why else would a super sophisticated crystal computer be able to hack into a living thing like this? We haven't seen a single gem with any sort of ability to interface with other forms of technology, but they can interface with plants? Why? Why, unless there was some purpose for this ability hardwired into their original reason for functioning, for existing. I mean, Pink Diamond was a diamond. Diamonds aren't combat gems. 
Diamonds. So why would a diamond, specifically a diamond who seems associated with the technology used for gem reproduction already, need for the ability to create plant soldiers? Or to control plants at all? Really. If this is a combat ability as has been portrayed in the show up to this point, an ability used to bolster an army's numbers, then isn't this an ability that we would expect to manifest in the types of gems that would actually go down to colonize planets, i.e. quartz maybe, for example? This only really makes sense if it's an ability linked to gem reproduction or to what gem reproduction used to look like before it became what it is today. All of this relates back to that initial idea that the purpose of gems used to be different, even if they weren't von Neumann probes like I suggest. It seems pretty clear at this point that their purpose wasn't always to branch out and reproduce as much as possible, even if it kills the life on all of the planets around them. But if you really pay attention, you'll notice something super interesting about this ability that I haven't talked about yet. So far up to this point, I've mentioned that Steven can effectively do duplicate portions of his own information to create his plant soldiers, and that Rose likely could have done the same thing. And yet, the few plant soldiers that we've seen of Rose's didn't resemble her at all, and maybe she did that on purpose. Maybe creating plants in her own image like the Watermelon Stevens would have given away that she was actually Pink Diamond, or maybe, as I suggested earlier, she wanted them to be able to blend in with actual plants. But even if that was her reason for not creating plants in her own image when she created plant soldiers, the fact that she doesn't have to do that does mean that she can choose which information is passed on to them and even control how that information manifests. If we look at Pumpkin and the Watermelon Dog as well, plant creatures which Steven has created but don't resemble him in intellect or form, it's pretty clear that the gem using this ability can in some way program these things however they want. If gems were some sort of exploratory von Neumann probe, then this would make sense. They could create plant soldiers to overcome tasks that they themselves weren't capable of overcoming. So this not only supports that theory, but it also touches on something that I talked about in my last video. I said that it's possible that Rose, when creating another gem entirely from scratch, might be limited to what information is already on her gemstone, but Looking at these plant creatures, we know now that that's not true. We know now that just as Steven can imbue plants with animal minds, Rose should have been capable of creating virtually any type of gem that she could imagine. Which aside from also supporting the idea that they were Von Neumann type probes, is just pretty frickin' interesting and I wanted to mention it here even if it didn't really fit into the video otherwise. More than anything though, I think this offers evidence that something major must have happened to reshape gem society into what we know it as today. If this ability to imbue plants with gem-like intelligence is something which was once integral to the core mission of gem kind, as I'm suggesting here, and yet Rose somehow only discovered this ability on Earth, then that just doesn't line up. The only way to explain how that could have possibly happened is if either Rose wasn't the first pink diamond, if there was either another pink diamond or another gem which filled the same role as Pink Diamond who came before her. Some accident happened, or if, as I have suggested in past videos, White Diamond, or some other force, I guess, too, it could have been someone other than her, technically, at some point altered the memories of the gems around them, for whatever reason, so that they could reshape the government into something more suitable to them. If the latter is the case, then Rose was rediscovering this power on Earth. It wasn't the first time that she had ever used it. She just thought it was. This all speaks to something super sinister in the history of the Gempire. And I'm not just talking about the fact that they're horrible genocidal conquerors. I really, truly think that gem society at some point in the past was something completely different, something that, if not positive, was at least a neutral force throughout the universe, rather than the harmful one that it is today, and that one of the last lore reveals that we get in the show is going to be how and why things change to transform the Gempire into what we know it as today. But as per usual, I'd like to know what do you guys think of this theory, or rather this collection of rambling ideas, which I'm trying to pass off as a theory. Did I manage to create a new form of intelligence, or have I imbued this theory with all of the wrong information. Let's get a discussion going in the comment section down below or over on my Discord, link in the description. But either way, this has been AJ22 and I will talk to you guys later.